in the errors section of this episode's wiki page, it mentions something about Garnet having two sapphire gems at one point. But because they give the least helpful description imaginable of where the error is, and since I really don't want to have to comb through the episode and stare at Garnet's palms the whole time, we'll just say this is a hypothetical sin that may or may not actually be there and call it a day. I don't want to catch a cold. Then why are you still wearing sandals? How can she not tell the difference between the jacket and Amethyst's voice? Was it really necessary to push him up like that? Why not just put him down on the ground while you're crouching closer to it? Come on, Poofy. Poofy? That's kind of a random name to call him in this situation, but okay. Look, the little ones didn't explode. They're drilling away. Let them go. They're just parasites. If they want to be a problem, they have to answer to me. Surely you of all people would realize the value of strength in numbers. Seriously, you get your asses whooped by a bunch of watermelons later in the series. So I think handling tons of small fry seems to be your kryptonite. <laughs> Pearl forgets how eyes work in this frame. Welcome to a wonderland of Funtronic Gamevention's! Funtronic Gamevention's. Pearl, come on! Game. Road killer? Steven must know next to nothing about Pearl if he thinks she'd be a fan of this game of all things. Wouldn't it have been a funny gag to have Pearl try a Dance Dance Revolution type game and get frustrated at humans, quote, thinking this is an acceptable form of dancing? But no, we get this instead. Whoa! False advertising. At the arcades around where I live, you'd need close to 10 million of those goddamn things to get one of those. The ticket economy in Steven Universe must be absolutely booming. I like this little touch. The DOJ in this universe has the logo of a snake, which Ronaldo will later think means the world is run by snake people. That's a pretty cool detail a lot of people will likely miss. What kind of character is a head on a fucking skateboard? Even for a parody of a game from the 80s, this is a bit of a stretch. Your special move is forward, forward back, top towards half circle, medium kick. Oh, wait, maybe that's an aerial move. Just punch and you'll be fine. <laughs> Who the hell programs a make the game scream in agony when you destroy the screen feature? How do they keep getting away with these names? I'm pretty sure Steven just put the left drumstick in Garnet's right hand and vice versa. You guys know what happened to teens of rage? Let's run! Your heroes, ladies and gentlemen. What's today's mission? I hope it's... fighting... a giant... foot! No. Pearl Spear goes through her hair in this frame. We're all a team. Garnet just has heightened perception that guides us towards our mission objectives. Yeah, she's the boss. Not necessarily. If I could use Persona 5 as an example, Queen could be seen as the one that has heightened perception that guides the team towards their mission objective. But Joker's still the leader because his combat skills just make him more fit to lead. So someone that guides a team doesn't have to be their leader. Damn it, I want to play Persona 5 again now. In this shot, the door to Steven's bathroom disappears. Garnet had a special mission for you. You have to slam your face into that bowl of cereal. Good job, Steven! You stopped the foot! There is no foot! Not anymore. Ugh. Stop that. <laughs> the lack of a P sound at the end of that sentence made it sound like Steven said, ah, hell. Wait, how did it get destroyed? It didn't even hit any of them. Yes, closing your eyes is really going to help you hit them. They're everywhere! We need Garnet! How is one extra person going to help you against possibly hundreds of these things? Also, I really don't like this attitude of the crystal gems are basically worthless without Garnet. I get that's sort of Pearl's whole character arc in this series, but Pearl and Amethyst have shown they have combat experience. Hell, Pearl was in a war for God's sake. Teams should be able to function without their supposed leaders sometimes, and I'd hope that for the thousands of years the Crystal Gems have been formed, they would at least be able to decently handle things without Garnet. Onion is shown to be watching Garnet play in this shot, but then in this and a few other shots, Onion just completely vanishes. Garnet is nowhere near close to following the notes correctly. She should have gotten a game over a long ass time ago. 
Also, although I understand why effects were put on this song to make it sound like it came from arcade speakers, I also hate it because this song rules. Seriously, it's probably my favorite piece of music in season 1A, and I wish they let the best quality version of this play. Listen to this. I'm leaving a link in the description if you want to go listen for yourself. It sucks that this one went under the radar like it did. That's rare. That's a weird choice of phrase to describe that. When Steven goes to unplug the game, he pulls the plug here. But then in the next shot, not only is the game still plugged in, but Steven somehow managed to just conjure up another chord for it. And before you say that he might have unplugged a chord from the other side of the wall, the place that he unplugged the chord from has this Mito 2000 text printed near it. And so does this chord. So unless the exact same shit is printed on the wall behind this machine, which I really doubt, either Steven just reached behind the machine and magicked another chord into existence, or the Crooniverse just fucked up here. And honestly, I'm more willing to believe the latter. <laughs> Meet the beat! Absolute bullshit. There is no way an arcade cabinet would save someone's progress if the power was cut from it. After Steven loses for the last time, the drumsticks disappear entirely for the rest of the episode. In this shot, the timer is counting down from 6. But then in the next shot, it jumps back up to 10 even though more quarters haven't been put into it. Why didn't you just do this from the start? Also, Gamer Rage. Don't you go flippity flopping out of here. Flippity flopping out of here. Also, I guess we just don't get to see how the gems eventually deal with all the parasites or any of the cool strategies they come up with to beat them. Because again, we have to be super glued to Steven's ass at all times. It's so dumb. Do we have anything else to do? We don't.